Yo, what's going on YouTube? Just JK and welcome back to my channel for another GTA 5 video. And in today's video, we're going to be customizing and reviewing the currently unreleased Ubermatch Zion Classic. This is going to be in the Sports Classics category and it's going to cost you $812,000. So it's a tiny bit on the expensive side, um, but at least it's not breaking the $1 million barrier. And it looks awesome. Old school BMW. <laughs> what can go wrong? Really, what can go wrong? And it does look pretty fucking sweet. So, without any further ado, let's crack on with 100% body armor to start this build. Then, race brakes. Then we've got a bumper. Front bumper. So, we've got some nice additional options. We've got the primary painted. And then we've got the street. The street painted. The tuner. Then the painted tuner. Tuner? Tuner. Then we've got the drift. And we've got the painted drift. So, not much in the way of um, obviously different options because these two are, pre are the same. They're just you know a primary version and a secondary version of it. So um, I actually like the drift bumper. I think that looks awesome. So I'm going to go with the primary drift bumper. Then we've got the rear. So we've got the primary stock, the tuner, and we've got the painted one. And it's got to be that. It's got to be the one. The tuner painted. So we're going to grab that bad boy. And then we've got the chassis. We've got the street cage. We've got the sports cage. And we've got the racing cage. So um, the street cage, obviously, is just a half cage. Then we've got a sports cage, which is a full cage. And the racing cage is also a full cage, but we get um, pads on the cage. Um, not a massive fan of the pads. I think it's a bit overkill. So, I don't know. I might actually have the street cage, man. I think that looks cool. Um, you know, I think when we go to the extent of having a full cage in a car like this, it's a little bit overkill. And I think a half cage actually looks a little bit nicer. So, next we've got the engine. We're going to get the level 4 engine upgrade. Then we've got the exhausts. Some nice additions for the exhausts. So, we can dual it up. And we can chrome tip it. We can titanium tip it. We can carbon tip it, or we can get the aluminium tips. It's got to be titanium all the way. Fenders, secondary fenders, carbon fenders. Yeah, um, not really sure about that. I think I'm just going to stay stock for the fenders. Headlights, we are going to... Oh, sorry, I thought I was going to change that to Xeon then, but no, it's taken me completely by surprise. So we can get headlight wipers, or we can tape the headlights. Oh man, I ain't going to do neither of that, because <laughs> they're both a little bit weird. Then we've got the hood, uh, so we get the stock carbon, the shark nose. Mm, okay, not not sure what I feel about that one. But the intake scoop, uh, oh my fucking life. The, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen a Beamer with <laughs> a big triple intake um, big block. I, wow, that took me by surprise completely. Didn't think that was going to be there. It looks weird, man. Yeah. Uh, nah. No. Is that it? So the hood options are a little bit strange. Oh, yeah, I'm not sure about that. Not on, not on a BMW. It was weird. Um, I'm not really a fan of any of them. The shark nose is shit. Uh, the stock hood looks okay. So to maybe mix it up a little bit, the intake scoop is probably the best option. Um, or to stay stock. But I'm going to mix it up a little bit and get the intake scoop. But all the others, man, they're weird. That looks fucking alien on this car. It just don't look right. Looks weird as fuck. Anyway, we're going to carry on. Uh, we've got the headlights and we are going to purchase the Xeon headlights. The livery. Loads of options for liveries as usual. Um, especially with these new DLC vehicles. We're getting a lot of options for liveries. So we've got um, the Premier Electronics. Race liveries as they are. That's quite a nice one. I like the look of that. It looks pretty cool. Um, some more race liveries. You know, nothing spectacular, nothing to write home about. Or you can rat, rat it out, you know. If you, but if you're going to have this one, you've got to have a matte colour underneath. So you take away that gloss. But um, 
yeah, I'm not a massive fan of any of these. That's probably my favourite. That's just plainly called Uber Match. So that's that's my favourite one. But you know, I don't, I don't think it needs a livery, so I'm going to stay clear of the liveries. Then we've got the mirrors. We've got the primary mirrors, secondary mirrors, and the carbon mirrors. I'm just going to go primary because um, I'm not a massive fan of the chrome. But then again, the chrome actually has that old school feel to it. Um, but then there's not much else chrome on this car, is there? So I'm going to just go primary for the mirrors. Go skip the play. We've got a respray, primary, and I'm going to go metallic. White actually looks really cool on this. Black looks awesome as well. Um, red is also a good colour for a beamer. Silver is a good colour for a beamer. Actually, I think BMWs suit most colours. I don't think I've ever seen a a car. A BMW that doesn't look good in any colour. I actually like really like that cabinet red. That looks awesome on this car. It's got a it's got a real old school feel to it. That cabinet red as well. So metallic cabinet red it is for the primary colour. Then we've got the secondary colour. We'll go go metallic also frost white and it is just this trim around the bottom by the looks of it. I can't see it and the roll cage. I can't really see it changing anything else other than the trim around the bottom and the roll cage. So, in that case, I am going to go metallic black. And I think that looks fucking sweet. Definitely. Really look, really liking the look of it. Uh, roof. So, we've got an antenna. We can get roof luggage. Not sure why. And then we've got um, the roof spoiler. But it's a spoiler that doesn't add traction. Then we've got a secondary. And then we've got louvers. Um, I actually really like the louvers on this, man, to be honest. Out of all of them, I really like the louvers. So I'm going to go window louvers for the roof, strangely enough. Uh, next, we've got the side skirts. So quite a few options for skirts. We've got a painted trim, the extended. Ooh, I like the extended. That looks cool. And then a performance skirt. The drift skirt. See, that looks cool. I like the drift skirt. That's nice. It goes with the front bumper. So that's the one I'm going to go with is the drift skirt. And it's the primary color. So it's all gravy, baby. Next, we've got the spoiler. So we can get a ducktail. And the carbon ducktail. We can get some trunk luggage. What the fuck? <laughs> oh, man. Uh, the the Sorry, the primary street spoiler. Actually looks really good. I like the look of that. Really digging the look of that. Even the pro, uh, the primary performance spoiler looks good. Really like the look of that too. Um, I'm not sure what one I like better. I think maybe the primary street spoiler looks a little bit nicer. Cause, only just because it's a little bit lower. And I think with them window louvers. I don't know. I don't know. Um, so yeah, I actually like the performance spoiler. And also the street spoiler. They're both really good. They're actually all really good, with the exception of the trunk luggage. That's a bit weird, but um, the duck tower looks good. Oh, man. Um, I think I'm going to go with the street spoiler. Keep it a little bit more subtle. I mean, that's kind of like, fuck. And that's like, you know, a little bit nicer. <laughs> a little bit more subtle. And um, especially with them window louvers as well. We don't want to be going too mad on the back so yeah the street spoiler it is suspension we are going to slam it to the competition suspension transmission we're going to get a super transmission and turbo tuner and then the wheels i don't think i want to change these wheels to be honest they look awesome the stock wheels look really good they suit the car really nicely and i don't think there's any aftermarket wheels in this category or any of the categories which are going to look nicer so i'm going to stay stock for the wheels but to finish off the build, we are going to go to light smoke, as always, for the window tint. Then we're going to go out onto the street and see what this bad boy looks like in the sunlight of Los Santos. The Ubermatch Zion Classic. And I'm loving the look of this. This is one of my favourites so far that I've customised and done a review on. Definitely, man. Between this and, I think, maybe the Hellfire, they're my two top favourites so far. This looks awesome though, the Zion Classic. I actually really, really like the look of this. Customizations on it is pretty sweet too. You can actually um, customize it enough for it to be unique. And it's in the Sports Classic category, like I've already said. It actually feels 
pretty quick. You can see uh, you can see how much speed is picking up there. So this is definitely going to be a fast sports classic car, which is awesome. I'm um, not sure if it will be you know top dog, but it's definitely going to be competitive. It feels real quick in a straight line. It actually feels really light on the steering as well, which is nice. It feels really tight, so it actually feels like a sports car. Uh, like it should do, because it is a Beamer. It should feel good in the corners at least. It's very easy to drive. Handling is very light. Um, like, yeah, I mean, you can just see I'm, I'm full throttle around them corners, and it's just holding in there. And the just the little taps of the analog stick, the steering just feels really tight. And it's definitely going to be very fast in a straight line. So I'm well happy with the way this car is, man. It looks awesome. It Customizations are really good. It actually drives really nicely, which is obviously a massive plus. And um, for, for the price of $812,000, I'm definitely going to be buying this, man, in online. 100%. When this is released, I'm going to get onto my online account and I'm actually going to purchase this because I actually really, really like this. I like the Sentinel Classic, but I think I like the Zion Classic a little bit better. It just looks a little bit more sporty, a little bit more classy. I don't know, just a little bit more old school. I just really, really like the look of it. Um, so this this is obviously just my opinion. I just, I just really like the look of this car. Some people might fucking hate it, but I really, really like it. And um, I, this is definitely going to be a, a win and a purchase from me. Um, so on that note, I found I'm going to end the video there. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, please hit that like button. And if you haven't already, why not subscribe to my YouTube channel for more GTA 5 videos like this. And until next time, guys, I'm out. Adios.